in order to find a, a part of the interface to change inside of Sonar, we really just have to know what that part is by experimenting and finding. Um, yeah, just th think about where where it is in the Sonar UI. You know, if it's in okay. the if it's in the console view, chances are you're going to find it in the console view category in Theme Editor. It really is that straightforward. Got it. Okay, very cool. So we just basically uh, go through here and search for whatever colors, bitmaps, and we only, we only have we only use bitmaps and PNGs inside of. I mean, is there is there a point at which we would use a PNG file instead of a bitmap? Or um, um, to be honest with you, bitmaps uh, we tend to um, be phasing those out at the moment. We're more going for for PNGs. You will find a lot more PNGs um, than than BMPs, but really. You don't need to think about it. Just you know, open up the image and save it in the same format as it was opened, uh, and you're good to go. Got it. So we, there's no no special sauce that comes into using PNGs other than the fact that PNGs just save transparency. It, exactly. It's it's all under the hood stuff. Uh, what dictates uh, you know uh, whether we use a PNG or a BMP or not. Wow. And you can even go in here and change like the background images of like the compressors. Wow. You can go in here and you can change. What is it? I saw the EQ in here. That's amazing. Yeah, and, and as I said before, you know, don't be afraid to go in and play with this stuff because you can't break anything. Got it. So right now we're working inside of theme. Uh, we're working inside of the tungsten theme, and we've loaded up a default, uh, a blank, untitled uh, theme based on tungsten. Right. So if I wanted to change a picture in here, I could just search for it in this little browser. Uh, I really dislike this external image, external insert image inside of Sonar. How do I? Oh, there it is. Oh, but we changed it in Tungsten. That looks uh, nice. That's nicer, isn't it? Oh, that's much nicer. You don't need well, to change that. <laughs> for, the sake of, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to say I dislike it. All right, so I'll just find a picture on here. I'm going to use a picture of one of my buddy's plugins. You guys might recognize it from our store because it's a fun plugin. David Ben Death, plus 10 dB. I like the UI. I'm just going to use it as an arbitrary background image and paste it onto here and find a spot where it doesn't look like a compressor, even though it's totally a compressor. Uh, we'll do that. All right. And then from here, I just save. You need to just save the file you have currently open, which is a BMP file. Great. Okay. Well, that's easy. So we just saved over the, the file that was inside of the theme editor, that uh, the background image, right? So now we're back in here. Um, you said you suggested that we hit refresh, correct? No, you can do that. You don't have to do that, but you can do that to verify that your changes have saved, and so they have. Um, Wonderful. And then click OK, and you'll see your change bitmap. There it is. All righty. So then from here, we just do the same thing that we did with the color. We just uh, change text insert BG. There we go. Nice and descriptive. Save that. Open up Sonar from here. Go to our preferences. Select this from this drop-down menu. Hit apply. And it seems as if nothing has changed until, hopefully, when you open an external insert. There we there go. There it is. I am such a like a awesome graphics designer. Look at that layout and how wonderful. <laughs> I think it actually looks worse. <laughs> but that's okay.